episode. It's not just a normal video today, it's a live video. We haven't done it in a little bit. So uh, we're gonna give you guys a few minutes. Hopefully more people will um, get in tune with us. And this is what we're gonna work on today. We're gonna make a few car magnets. Don't worry, we'll just show you the process of how we will make one. Let me check uh, on my phone here. Just gotta make sure that we get the, uh, the comments or uh, maybe Luis can read the comments if, um, yeah, we're gonna, like Saul said, we are um, new, uh, not new, but we haven't done lights in, in a while, so. Uh, and I also wanna check for the sound and I gotta make sure that we have the picture and everything the way it's supposed to be, so. Um, all right, so this is the magnet that we already made. It's two colors, the type of magnet we are using. By the way, I just wanna, uh, I guess, correct something that I've been saying in the previous videos about the thickness of the magnet. And I mean, since we started making videos, we knew that uh, there were gonna be so many things that we would learn along the way. And we were uh, willing to make mistakes in order to get better. And I used to call, or I used to say that the magnets were 30 millimeters, which is not really the right thickness. It would be, uh, I think 30 millimeters is like more than an inch thick. And these are not an inch thick. So I, I just wanna say, you know, that I guess I was wrong. And like I said, you know, we're willing to make mistakes and that's, I guess that's the only way we would learn. Yeah, and we'll forgive you, so. <laughs> and they it's are, forgiven. so, correction, is 0 0.76 millimeters, I guess, because it was a little misleading when I used to uh, read the information that U.S. Carter provides, but it says 30 mil. I don't know what that stands for. It's not millimeters, I guess. And I just want to thank the person that corrected it. You know, um, I guess it's just uh, what they call like criticism or constructive criticism, something like that. Anyway, I appreciate it. Um, so let's get start. Let's start working on applying the magnet. I mean, not the magnet, the vinyl. And I'm gonna put this on the side, okay? And meanwhile, I wanna say hi to Maria. How you doing, Maria? Thank you for being here. Other people say hi, don't be shy, and let us know that you are here, so that way we make it worthwhile or we will disconnect. I'm just kidding you. I'm just kidding you guys. Of course, we're kidding. All right. uh, like Saul said, we're gonna make car magnets and yeah, show us the materials that we're gonna use for this project. We're just gonna apply the vinyl decal on, and I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the magnets are the uh, 0.76 uh, millimeters thickness and the matte finish. The type of vinyl we are working on what we got today is the Oracle 651, which is the one we use all the time. And the tools, additional tools that you can get, the rapid tag to avoid bubbles, and you can also use it to apply different layers of vinyl. You will see us how we use it in a few minutes. Also the cutting knife to avoid any residue from the backing paper, especially when you are working with uh, directly to cars. You want to avoid damaging the surface or scratching it and that's the reason we recommend that you guys get the uh, the cutting knife and you will, won't get any residue as well and all different tools that we have here like the squeegees and the measuring tape cutting uh cutting board uh cutting, cutting mats. mat cutting mat yes that's the one we use to cut the magnets and uh he didn't mention the transfer but we are using our favorite which is the our tape clear choice AT75.1 as you see it there and yeah Oracle 651 and the way we're gonna do this is by using as you know the registrations uh, we gotta combine the colors and of course we're gonna do it by applying rapid tags which is the wet method and yeah, thank you, Maria. She's saying, how are you guys? Well, we are great. We haven't been connected on Facebook Live for a while. And uh, just to let you know, Maria, follow us on our Spanish uh, equivalent to RDI, which is Sticker Aficionado. Thank you so much. She's always there uh, stopping by saying hi. Thank you very much. And I guess this is the second life we do right on yeah, rdi it might we be really the, like, do lights it probably is like the third second third something like that but uh, yeah but anyway yeah uh, we got some people <laughs> connected so let's get started uh the way he's gonna apply it is uh he's right. gonna lift uh, one side oh 
Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a dry application for the first layer. I'm just gonna take my time, you know, relax, chill. I'm just gonna cut it using my cutting knife, no residue. And the way the re I mean, I'm sorry. The reason we use the cutting knife is to avoid any residue from the uh, protective paper or what the they call the backing paper. Yeah. Because if you use the scissors, uh, it's it might leave some residue, and this is why we recommend you get this. Uh, we're gonna leave you guys some links after the live. I mean, it's it, uh, honestly this tool is really handy. It's not like it's gonna change your life, but it'll make it uh, a lot easier. Okay. Now I'm gonna start applying the first layer. Don't make me nervous so I don't mess it up. We just got these squeegees. We used to have yellow ones. And I don't know, this might be a little bit on the soft side. I guess we're gonna give you, uh, leave a review about these. Okay, I have half of it on our magnet. Now I'm gonna remove our tapes, paper tapes, put them on the side. And now I'm just making sure that I have my microphone on. And uh, yeah, it's on. Okay, cool. All right, so now I'm gonna get rid of this piece of uh, paper and our blade is cutting through. We just replaced it. See, this is, this is, this is the, um, when it's the cut force, the settings, we still gotta work on them. Yeah, we it's, just replaced the blade, yeah. but for some reason it's cutting through. I don't know. We just got to uh, play with it a little bit. And now I'm going to put this on the side. It might also have something to do with the transfer since it's a high tag uh, transfer. That's actually what's asking. Uh, Maria's asking us. Uh, she ordered the 8070. Uh, if you can read the, 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 the comment, because I don't know where I can read them here. <laughs> But uh, she mentioned something that she ordered the AT70 and why we order what's the purpose, yeah. something like that. About well, it's it. supposed to be uh, at least, or, or you can just probably get a little up close here. And this is AT75.1. I don't know why uh, they sent you that, but I know we have AT60, AT65. I, I don't think I've seen AT70, to be honest with you. I don't know the reason why they sent it. But uh, it's supposed to be 75.1, right? And yeah, uh, while well, he's applying that, the reason also is because uh, when we are going to install stickers on a car, uh, we used to use the 8060, which is a less aggressive transfer. And it was a pain for us because we had to, you know, try to, to lift the, the, the sticker from the paper it will take a long time and with the 8075 it's much easier for us it's ready to usually it's ready to just you know remove it from the backing paper and ready to be installed yeah like like we said it before when we used to just use the low tack we used to or we would have to get the sticker ready ahead of time uh, make sure that we remove it from the backing paper okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the transfer tape i'm going to do it slowly and I'm doing, um, I'm pulling from a certain angle. I don't know if you guys can probably see it here. We may end up with just a few bubbles. Shouldn't be a big deal. You can use the, the weeder to get rid of them. Good so far. And since we applied the first color on a dry application, uh, I mean, we can confidently remove it, but we still suggest that you guys do it carefully because the 8075, it's uh, kind of aggressive, so you still want to be careful when you're removing your transfer. And uh, yeah, I don't think I, I don't see any... Just a one or two bubbles. One or two bubbles, but it shouldn't be a, a big deal. At, at least with Oracle 651, uh, I know it's not a good presentation, but uh, within time, this, they should, you know, disappear with, with uh, the sun and all that, so. Yep. Um, okay, now it's time to apply either the top or the bottom, either the phone number, or it doesn't really make any difference. I'm going to do the numbers first. I'm going to get, completely get rid of the backing paper so I can wet or I can apply the uh, rapid tag on my vinyl. 
And you see how smooth it came off? That's what I meant. That's why we love the AT75 because we didn't struggle removing the sticker from the backing paper. Okay, and uh, I'm applying a little bit, not too much because I just don't want to cover it completely. Because if we were doing like an outside, outdoor installation, then yeah, I would probably, I could probably cover it completely with rapid tag. And I also don't want to damage the desk. <laughs> and not too long ago, somebody made a comment that why we do it this way when, you know, machines that the printers can do it uh, faster. I mean, of course they can do it faster and better, but we don't have the printer. Uh, we have the, for this project, we use the graph tech, which is a vinyl cutter. We also have the Cameo down there. You can make this type of projects with your Cameo 4, but we use the registrations because, you know, it's not a printer, of course, and we know it's much easier, but why limit yourself? As we said, you know, if you have a vinyl cutter, you can still make money and make these products just using this, um, uh, the alignments or the registrations to combine colors in layers. But, but I guess if you can afford the, I think it's like, it depends on which one you get. If you get a printer cutter, uh, I think they, uh, we're talking about uh, over 10,000 unless you get the 20 inch, uh, I think it's the uh, Roland SB something 20, which is a lot smaller than our graphic, which honestly, I mean, it's a good machine, but if we are going to invest, we're going to go for a, a 50 something inches instead of a instead of going lower or a smaller size now i'm going to apply the top letters i'm going to align one side first and then i'll do this side here and while saul is doing this i invite you guys to give us a like uh, so youtube recommends this video to people that are starting on this type of business we really appreciate it if you give us and smash that like and see, I can, um, I think I, I was getting a little bit of tension here. I can remove it and probably use a little bit more of this. It's not a big deal. Okay, now I can realign it. That is why we use the rapid tag when layering colors because you can reposition again as Saul just did in case of something goes wrong or something you never know yeah now i can probably get rid of the bottom the uh the numbers i'm gonna start with this side here and if i need to wait i'm going to wait a little bit it's coming off really fast and yes maria the cameo pro it's the 24 inch and yeah, some people, you know, have asked if they have to get the graph deck and no, we have also uh, told them that they can get the Cameo Pro, which is the 24 inch. And I guess it's more affordable than the graph deck, which costs around 1800. But, you know, depending on your budget and you start with the Cameo 4, even you can do business with Cameo 4, then save money, I guess. And later on uh, get a, a, a bigger cutting plotter. I'm gonna get rid of the, the uh, alignments or registration marks and I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna touch the surface. I'm just gonna do it slowly. And you can see there's a little bit, probably the registration was a little bit, it was off by just a, like nothing really, just a small bit, but not enough to change the design. So I don't have to worry about that. And as you can see, he didn't scratch. There's no scratch, nothing. I'm not getting fired then. Because uh, some people <laughs> has asked, you know, that question too, if uh, it's gonna scratch the surface and we barely touch the surface, so. Yep. Now I'm gonna remove the other uh, transfer and I believe this one's going to be a little bit, I may have to wait a little bit for this one here. But so far, but so far, I mean, it's coming up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we usually don't have to wait too long. And another question that people has asked us about if it's okay to add any wet solution to Oracle 651 or if it's going to affect the adhesive. And, and the answer is no. 
as you can see it's i mean we already got rid of the transfer and it's there oh, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of the uh registration mark here the same way and for some reason uh, whenever we're working with car magnets, uh, when we do wet application, it usually doesn't take very long to, uh, for the rapid tag to dry out. Uh, and we are on room temperature. We're working from inside home, of course. And yes, yeah, you can see, that's how easy uh, it was to make it. And uh, let me get the, uh, hold on, let me get all this. And I'm gonna get the uh, the roll of magnet that we usually get in case you guys want to get it too. Give me just a second. And Maria, she's asking us how long have we been running this business for? Uh, approximately, I would say it's five to six years we've been on this type of business. We started with like everyone else, we started with uh, custom t-shirts and uh, working on a small like flea market or uh, whatever they call those. Uh, little, yeah, flea markets. You know, flea markets, yeah. <laughs> we have a small <laughs> shop there. Uh, we have shown uh, on other videos uh, how we started and we started doing customized t-shirts, mainly like couples, matching shirts, whatever they call those. And we didn't really make much business, but then we, one guy, I think we have told this story. <laughs> uh, one guy came in, a construction guy, and he ordered some stickers, but we, we were still rookies. We were too scared to make like a 12 inch uh, sticker. For, for us, it was a big sticker and we were kind of scared of, uh, uh, you know, like adhesive vinyl or whatever you call that like the sticky one and because we always work with HTV and as you know HTV it's very easy to work with and it was a challenge but we managed and now we're doing this a lot so yeah and we have different dates I guess like uh, we started with like we said it with t-shirts that was like over five years ago and then we switched to stickers and then we quit our jobs and that was like three or four years ago so we have different dates we may give different dates according to you know whatever the question might be but uh anyway doing this full time it's about three years and uh also the reason we invested in the bigger vinyl cutter was because we l started selling a lot of decals and that's one of the reasons we upgraded from the uh, the our uh, the 15 inch graphic, we went up to the 20, 24 inch and hopefully next time we'll get a, a 54, I, I believe it's a 54 inch or something or the print. Yeah, we started with that, which is ironic because this one's more expensive. Then we bought that one, which is way cheaper and it's way smaller and uh, I mean, this is great, but we did that so we can show you guys that you can also make good uh, like good business with just a $300 uh, cutting machine, which is the Cameo 4. I mean, like we said, you can start with that and, you know, make some money and then you can move on to get a bigger one. I mean, just, I guess, just put it on a tip jar or something. <laughs> Don't spend it on, on Friday nights. So Avoid that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> another tip for those that are watching for the first time and are planning on investing money in a vinyl cutter. We have a video where we talk about certain requirements that we recommend that you guys pay attention to before getting a vinyl cutter. Make sure that you can use a roll. Make sure that you are not forced to use a cutting mat. I'm not talking about this cutting mat, but like the cutting mat that comes with the cutters and uh, don't uh, get, I mean, it's really up to you, but we would recommend that you guys invest or save a little bit of money and get a, uh, a machine that will let you use a roll of vinyl and that you can cut bigger than 12 inches. You know, just a suggestion, don't- uh, Don't get the mini. Yeah. The <laughs> The eight inch. Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, that's that's what we would do differently if we went back in time, okay? Just see it as advice or uh, what we would do. If we went back in time, instead of buying the 15 inch, we would go straight to the 24 inch, probably just wait a little bit. Instead of selling t-shirts, we will probably focus on stickers. If we had this information, that's what we would do at first. But I guess it's too late and that's the reason we are just mentioning this so you guys keep it in mind, you know, if you are about to invest money, 
something that you should consider, you know, like a, And let me read something that she left. I don't know where. Uh, something about me getting fired. <laughs> no, there's another one. Okay. Now. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. And thanks for the story. It's good to know how about how a business grows and not just straight into making decals. Cricut first. Yeah, uh, we've used those machines. They're good machines. I guess it's just a little bit limited to certain sizes. And, but I guess they're, they're good machines. We know people that own a few of those. And uh, let's be honest, when we first start this business, like we have no clue what to look for. And that's the reason we make these videos because hopefully help other people don't make, not making the same mistakes that we did when we started. But they weren't really mistakes, you know. It was a journey and it's been a challenge, but that's the reason we, uh, we got to where we got because we decided to um, take those steps even though they could have been, you know, a little bit better, but we don't regret anything. And yeah, if you have a, a cutting plotter, you can definitely make those signs. This is officially our top number one most sold item in our business. And uh, we sold this, uh, we live in Indiana, in the state of Indiana. We sold this for uh, $200. We got to make uh, four of them. But uh, the person that bought this, she bought also like 25 hoodies and 25 t-shirts. That's why I gave her a good deal. But usually you can charge this easily from $120 to $130, $130 the pair. That's, which, that's how we, we, we sell them, like two of them. For and that price. Also, if you are wondering about the design, the person had their own logo. All we had to do was just vector it and they provided everything, the information, the logo and everything. We didn't really have to work on that. And that's one of the reasons we also gave them that deal. Because and now that Saul is talking about logos, let me uh, let you guys know that we just recently opened our VIP members for RDI 2. And we also have some videos there for uh, VIPs. We're gonna have more soon about prices. And we also have uh, our affiliate store. If you're a VIP member, you, can, you will have uh, access to our website VIP section and you can download uh, a lot of logos that are vectorized made by us. You can download them, they'll be a good um, if you like to support us you already are of course but if you want to extra support us you can now join in for uh, less than four dollars a month and you can cancel it anytime you want and also I was gonna say something I forgot what it was oh yeah the video the type of videos we will talk a little bit about prices but we'll also uh, show you guys like what's what it is like working behind the scenes like our mess that we have usually when we work on bigger projects so that type of videos we will be um, uploading to vip section and again another reminder people keep asking us how we do marketing uh, uh, we we say it all the time just be consistent on social media whether it's TikTok, whether it's instagram whether it's facebook groups whether it's even youtube you will be amazed uh, how many like people might reach you using just and I'm talking just the free advertise and if you want to do paid advertise that's up to you you can also sell on eBay you can also sell on Etsy.com there's many ways you can make money we just gotta find them and keep looking uh, uh, one thing I want to show here which we never show because I mean to us doesn't make sense like some people want to know like the sizes of the letters but I guess it really depends on how much information the customer wants on his magnet and what size of the magnets you're going to be making but just we'll show you the sizes okay um, i'm going to start from here so the, the red the letters or the numbers uh, are two and a half inches about two and a half they're not exactly that number and these i mean if you consider from the bottom to the top we're talking about less than one and a half so like 1.3 something like that and the ones on top 175 i'm just giving you round numbers okay and the top numbers one and a half almost one and a half so they're the same size as the bottom ones uh, the one down here and because that's one of the questions that we get a lot too that's why i wanted to show you that um, and or you can do on your software whether it's CorelDRAW, whether it's Silhouette Studio, whatever you use 
you can just uh, trace like a square or rectangle and just do uh, like this size is 24 by 16 inch and just do like a um, trace like a, a rectangle and just put the information you don't have to do those sizes you will just know readjust it right yeah You're adjusted it. yeah exactly you will know the size because there's no standard size for letters and numbers it, it'll be all depending on the size of what the customer order and what your software is telling you what if you had twice the information that we have on this it wouldn't make sense you would not be able to use the same measurements that we did um, just you know wanted to talk a little bit about that because one, that's one of the questions that we get a lot oh well i think we came to the end of the video we gotta keep on working because we also gotta uh, start working on the, uh, the the hoodies and the shirts that uh, we're about to get either today or tomorrow and we just want to when I get ahead and yeah so if you guys want to support us like we said you know uh, we really appreciate it if you get the materials through the links in the description which we'll be adding later after this live also if you guys want to support us more you can join our VIP and we already talked about what you will get and we appreciate it I don't know if you have any other words to say, Luis. Uh, well, no, thank you very much. Uh, thank you guys so much. And thank all, you, Maria, for being here, okay? <laughs> yeah, she's... Uh, for all the comments. Thank you for your support and everything. Uh, of course, everything we do, we try to do it, uh, you know, more for... Uh, share as much information as we can to you guys because we know the struggle, especially when you are just starting this type of business. And yeah, thank you. We appreciate it. And uh, we will see you guys again on another live, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. All right. Um, you might hear this, but...